Ha ha. Ha ha. To all the Trump haters, the people that said that the President of the United States, Donald Trump, was trying to start a war with North Korea, guess what? The President just got a face-to-face -face meeting. The North Koreans are looking like they're tapping out. Why are they doing that? First of all, President Trump stood up to the little bully with the bad haircut. And guess what? The little nuclear bully backed down. Why does it matter? North Korea has said for over 20 years they want to nuke the United States. We, let's start with Clinton. Clinton gave them over $2 billion, two nuclear reactors, and 200 thousand barrels of oil a year to stop making nuclear weapons he took the money he took the nuclear reactors which why you give someone you're trying to stop making nuclear weapons two nuclear reactors anyways clinton did it clinton tried clinton tried bribing him he took the money he made the nukes anyways uh bush the second eight years failed to stop him from making nuclear weapons even though he said he wanted to nuke the united states china or sorry japan and south korea now he's developed the ballistic missiles capable of hitting the United States. He's also, under President Obama, from Bush to Obama, he's gone from nuclear to hydrogen. Hydrogen uh, weapons that are just absolutely horrible. Now, he has the ability right now, even though nobody wants to admit it, that he could probably strike the West Coast. That means Silicon Valley. That means L.A. with a hydrogen bomb. That would vaporize everyone in Silicon Valley, killing four to five million Americans in a split second. The nuclear fallout would pollute Denver. Most of the people in Denver would get cancer within a month, maybe a year. Now, the nuclear fallout would hit the Rockies. It would also hit the Plains. So, Nebraska, southern Iowa, uh, Missouri, they would all suffer. So, the rain would be nuclear. The crops would be nuclear. No one would, would buy American food because it would have a high nuclear content. You'd get cancer from eating it. Trump wants to stop that. Therefore, there is a military option. This is what the military option looks like. Before we think they're going to launch on us, we take out their missiles and we go after their nukes and we go after their nuclear facilities and their missile facilities. That is the soft hit. The hard hit is you go after Kim. Now, President Trump has implied that there is a military option. Obama said there was no military option when there was. Bush said there was no military option when there was. Clinton said there was no military option when there was. There is always a military option if someone's about to nuke you. Our option is not to get hit with a nuclear weapon and then retaliate. Our option is to take out the nukes before they're launched. And Trump is the only one who's given the impression he might actually do that. And he's also publicly stood up to him. He's publicly uh, made fun of Kim Jong-un. Um, now, and he's also done what's called maximum pressure. What does maximum pressure mean? He's pressuring them. Uh, embargoes. Um, we are doing whatever we can to stop them from making money. Now, four days ago, or sorry, seven days ago, the South Korean news media reported that North Korea's cash reserves, and they do trade in, in United States dollars, are so low that the company is going or the country is going to collapse in October of 2018. That's when they're absolutely dead broke out of money. So because of Trump's maximum pressure, drawing up or uh, eliminating all their ability to get money and to do trade, and the fact that there is a military option on the table, Kim Jong Young, or let's call him Crazy Kim if I can't pronounce it the name, but Kim realizes that if he pulls a military standoff, Trump's going to stand up to him. He's not going to back down. He will get hit with conventional weapons. His nuclear and missile program will be wiped out, and then it's war, which he'll lose, or a total loss of face <clears throat> by getting hit and not being able to do anything about it. Or option two, negotiate now before you're dead broke. If you're five to six months away from going dead broke, you start, and that's kicked out of your house, lose everything, you would begin to negotiate. North Korea is about five to six months away from being dead broke, completely out of cash. Time to negotiate. 
Trump wins. And to everyone that made fun of him, like he, he, his button was bigger, I, you know, America has a bigger button or Trump has a bigger button, whatever jokes they wanted to try to make out of it, guess what? Trump's winning. Trump, Trump was right, right. He's a New York landlord. Somebody tried to bully him. He stood up to him. Over time, the bully backed down. Trump won. America won. God bless the United States of America. God bless Donald Trump. If you like what I'm saying or hate what I'm saying, hit the subscribe button, share, tell your friends, because whether you love me or hate me, please tell everyone about me. And thank you, Donald Trump, for being our president. And he is your president.